10 TQL. Today we're in the heart of the homeland, what was formerly the Red River Settlement and today is Winnipeg, for a very large gathering of Red River Métis people to talk about our treaty. Honestly, uh, I've been around the MMF for about 26 years, and honestly, I don't know if I've seen a Winnipeg region meeting this big before, so give yourselves a big round of applause for that. That's fantastic. What an honor it is to be here this fine morning to see such a room full of people. It's exciting to be here. I'd like to also start recognizing that we are here in the uh, Métis homeland, and Winnipeg is truly the jewel of the homeland where Louis Riel uh, and his family lived in St. Vital area, so we're really proud. Debbie Koppel, Kenyu local chair, can you tell me about your first impressions of the treaty meeting so far? Uh, so far, it's been great, and um, it's very emotional. Um, I, I'm, I'm just very grateful to be here and to see everybody here. It, it's the largest meeting that the region has had. And um, like I said, it's very emotional for me, and um, I, I'm a very proud Métis woman. It's been a long journey, a hell of a long journey. And you heard me say something that needs to be said more often, more often, and more often, is to thank the locals. The locals who work on, constantly, nonstop since 1967, have always been there fighting for the cause, protecting our culture, protecting who we are, defending the Métis cause. So proud and uh, very emotional. I was uh, tearing when I was listening to him speak, thinking of my grandpa, people who came before him, and uh, it's exciting. It's exciting. The Métis Nation is strong today because of family. Each of you know that. I don't have to explain that. You all know how close you are in your families. This is historic. I am so proud to be part of this, um, to watch it unfold as we go along. Since uh, being elected in 2018, and as I look back, I could see how things were being put in place for today. And I'm so just so proud to be here. The treaty is, it's the law, as President Chartrand said, it is protected fully by the Constitution of Canada and nobody can pull it out. I'm really just excited and I feel really empowered after listening to the history of our people again and, and hearing about where we're going in the future. As a youth rep, um, these, this, what we're doing here today will impact me and in the future I'm the one who will continue to uphold this. So I really just feel really like empowered and passionate about what I just heard. The room is full, uh, people are talking, people are excited about this treaty, they want to know more about it, they have thoughts, they have hopes, dreams. I think it's probably one of the most important meetings we've had in, in Winnipeg since its inception. Most importantly, it's just wonderful knowing that the treaty is going to allow us that opportunity to sit there and recognize that you know our people have been woven into the annals of this country and recognized for that. We're at a threshold today, my friends. We're a different era, and, and it's because of you. This room today is telling me that it matters, that whatever we're doing today matters, and the future matters. I think it's also great for the youth to have like goals in front of them being set for them, and I think it's very exciting that it's happening, and our path's paved already, and we can follow the path of our elders, and it's a very exciting. This is the beginning of change that Riel dreamt about. I come from a long line of Métis support and, and fighter. We've been fighting for a long time. And now we're taking our fight from the streets into the courts and from the courts to the government. So these steps have, have played itself out. And it, it's with pride. It's so, I'm so proud. Be proud of who you are. I'm damn well proud of who I am and always will be. So it's a great day. It's going to be an historic time. I hope the pictures will be taken of you and one day you'll see it somewhere in a... In a 20 years from now, your kids will see in a history book somewhere, oh, that's my grandpa, that's my gum, that's my dad. So one day the story will be told, you were at that meeting when these historic days took place. So take care, everybody. Take care.